Hey y'all, we're gonna get started. I wanna share this with you. Well, it says, relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing. Okay, relationships are assignments for optimal growth and healing, okay? So let's get started. Let's see what we got going on for the collective. Welcome to highest of high and light, love, peace, purpose, strength, wisdom, courage, and truth. Grateful for awareness, open to healing and change. God, what messages do we have for the collective? Thank you for allowing me to see what I need to see, feel what I need to fear, and to um, get it out with compassion and clarity. God, what's going on with the collective? What messages does the collective need? What messages do, do does the collective need? I'll pull six cards. I'll show you guys the cards once I start the reading, okay? For the collective. All right, what's going on? What message do we have, God? What's going on? One card. All right, so the overall energy we have, um, some of y'all could feel like you're missing out on something. Y'all could feel like y'all, like your friends or your family, like whoever you're close to, like they're, you're, it's almost like looking at something from the outside in. So something looks maybe better than it really is, but you feel like you're missing out on something, maybe due to work, okay? Maybe you feel like you're working too hard and you're not really seeing the, um, getting to enjoy yourself as far as life is concerned. You're giving. You may be giving too much to work. So it's like almost like some of y'all need like a work-life balance, okay? Because you feel like you're missing out. Uh, for some of y'all, this could also be you are, I feel like you're, you're so focused on someone else's life that you're not focusing on yourself, okay? Where's this? Like, you could be seeing things or people as competition. Feeling threatened by others that you shouldn't feel threatened by. What is this page of swords? What is this page of swords? That's too many. Yeah. Page of swords. Yeah, you're watching something. It's like something you don't want to see, but you keep watching. You know? Like a train wreck, right? Like, Yeah, it's time for you to start your new journey. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to focus on yourself, but you keep looking back, okay? Yeah, and this is what's keeping you stuck. This is what may be keeping you stuck, at least. Um, here you have the Queen of Cups, okay? It's time for you to pour into yourself. It's time for you to nurture yourself, okay? I feel like you have someone that also may be watching you that's going to make um, an appearance back in your life because they want another chance. Now, I do feel like this also may be the de decision you have to make, okay? Do do you want a new journey without this person or do you want to give them another chance? It's showing that you really don't even want to make the decision. But
But if you don't make the decision, you will remain stuck with this hangman. You, it's like, it's time for you to see something as a new, you see something from a new perspective, okay? If you do have someone returning, they're coming back with the same energy they left with. This is a unhealthy relationship, friendship, okay? You are not missing out on anything, but you feel like you are. But you aren't. You're needed to get some time alone. You're you're needed to you're needing to um focus on yourself right now because this person when they're around, it's everything is like they feel burdensome. The situation feels heavy. This may be someone that was dealing with someone else or multiple people and you feel like you're always you were always competing and in competition. But it's like there's a need to leave someone alone so that you can um yeah someone was juggling here someone was juggling here giving to you and giving to others and you're just like and it was sexually too okay it was sexually they were they were like for the streets okay but you're needing to really focus on yourself get back to yourself and uh release this hurt and anger and like heal from it so that you can experience love okay so that's what you have to work on you have to work on letting go of someone or something and of course you know this is mercury retrograde people are going to be coming back but just because they come back doesn't mean you have to accept them okay but they're watching you someone could be watching you party and have a good time with people okay they're watching you and it feels like they want to come towards you but they're also nervous about coming towards you because they know how they did you and it's almost like they want to catch you when you're vulnerable. I feel like if this person contacts you at night, don't respond. If you do want to respond, respond back during the daytime when you're, there's clarity and your sight is different. Not at nighttime when you're lonely and when you're vulnerable, okay? But this is someone that wants a new beginning with you. When deep down, you want a new beginning, but you don't want this person in it because there was so much heartbreak and hurt. What is this uh, judgment card? Of, oh, I said I wasn't there first. Let me see. What is this? Queen of Hearts. What is this Queen of Hearts? I'm sorry, Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups? What is this Queen of Cups? For the collectors, please. What is this Queen of Cups? Yeah, somebody's definitely coming back. But they still have that devil energy. What is this Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups. Yes, nurturing yourself, focusing on yourself is what's going to bring you success in the long run, Okay. Like, you will be successful. You will. I know sometimes it feels like, oh, my gosh, I can't let this go. I can't get over it. You know, I still want this person. Am I missing out? Um, what you don't know is that they're looking at you like that, too. But they really are missing out. Like I said, they did you wrong. They didn't treat you right. So they are missing out, but you are not, okay? The situation wasn't a good one for you. So you're needing to nurture yourself, pour into yourself, focus on yourself, and that will bring you success. Some of you all may have success also from sharing your experience and getting advice from a motherly figure, whether it's a grandma, an auntie, a cousin, a friend, like a mother. There's something you can learn here, okay? This person kept you in this energy, this Five of Cups energy. It didn't feel good. They made you question your worth. They made you feel like you didn't deserve things. So now you're like crying over spilled milk. There's that three of cups again. Look, let me show you. Same three of cups. Same three of cups. You thinking they're having a good time. You're missing out. And like, this three of cups is spilled out on the ground. Like, essentially you're crying over spilled milk. Because again, you are not missing out on anything. You really are not. Look, look at this. Heartache, heartbreak, grief, needing to let go of something, having to let go of something, okay? Remember, when this person comes back, remember what they did. Remember how they made you feel. Remember how many people they was dealing with. For some of y'all, remember that STD they gave you. Just being real. Let them go. What do we have for the hanged one? For the hanged man, please. What do we have for the hanged man? This person tends to keep you stuck. There's no growth with it. Yeah, they bring you a lot of confusion. This person brings lots of confusion into your life. What do we have for the devil? What do we have for the devil? Look at that again. Heartache, heartbreak, grief, hurt. 
this connection always leads to this. And I'm feeling like for some of y'all, this may be someone that comes and goes, comes and goes. It's like we do good, then they do something stupid again. We do good, then they do something stupid again. It's like a cycle. And it's like very necessary to let it go. Like they were for the streets, then they're still for the streets now. This person is selfish. Let me get one more card for the devil. They only, it's like they only miss you when you're not there. They only want you when you're not there. Because when you're there, they give their time to other people. They give their love, quote unquote love. The love that they at least do have to give, which is not the love that you deserve. But they literally give their penis to other people. They give their vagina to other people. They allow others to be inside of them. And they go inside others. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not okay. What do we have for um, judgment? This person, I know they're trying to come back with a the weak offer. Yeah. Three cards came out for judgment. So, yeah, someone is coming back that mo you moved away from. Someone that brought a lot of chaos to your life. Someone that disrupted your peace. This is who's trying to come back, okay? This came out in reverse, so I will acknowledge that. Um, this was something that had to be brought down. I feel like you tried to hold on as long as you could, but this was something that had to go. The foundation was weak, and you deserve more, so it's like spirit had to step in. Um, this also came out in reverse. This was a relationship, a situation that just was not going to work, okay? But they're trying to come back to offer you that. They're going to come back on something like, I changed or whatever. But God is saying, like, no, sit down, be still. The same burdens they gave you before, they will give you again. And it's too heavy. And you don't want to carry it no more. What do we have for the Four of Swords? What do we have for the Four of Swords? It's way too many cards. Whatever. All right. So you got to let go of this fear of missing out, okay? I feel like really emotionally, this person didn't even fulfill you. Like you were bored. Like they didn't stimulate you in all the ways you needed to be stimulated. You're needing to take the time to be alone, to go within, to ask yourself why you even accepted this type of behavior from someone. Because it's like, you know, you don't deserve it, but it's almost like you don't believe you deserve um, happiness and or true love and <clears throat> Someone that will give to you as you give to them. Whenever this person is around, your money gets funny, okay? You lose money, all right? This is a... I remember somebody told me, you'll notice when you're around the right people, your money grows. When you're around the wrong people doing the wrong things, you lose money. You spend more money, you know, um, making bad, like making unhealthy decisions. So then you have the will of fortune. Again, this was a situation you did not want to walk away from, but God had to intervene. Life had to get in there. Universe had to get in there and push this person, like literally roll this person out the way. Because again, your money was getting crazy. You were becoming more and more insecure. Um, and they were giving to others. They weren't giving to you what you deserved. To a world. So it's like, this is how it came out. Two of Wands is knowing what you want, recognizing you have the world in your hands, okay? You need to do that. Recognizing you have the power to bring <clears throat> into fruition exactly what it is you want. And this ain't it. This is where this leads you. Unhappy. Feeling heavy. Feeling burdened. What do we have for the Ten of Wands? What do we have for the Ten of Wands, please? For the collective, what do we have for the Ten of Wands, please? What do we have for the Ten of Wands, please, God? Oof, what do we have for the Ten of Wands, please? Ten of Wands is like, ain't nothing to say. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this person does not have much to offer you. They gonna come in with an apology, like I said, trying to act like they've changed. In reality, yeah, trying to act like they want to deal with you again. And it shows they're coming in fast. They're coming in hot. Mm, 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 mm. But they're coming <clears throat> with an offer, with an apology. But this is still their energy. 
This is this is the real gift you're going to get. This is all they have to offer. This is all they have to give. Heartache, heartbreak, codependencies, addictions, and burdens. You also had the Empress Fallout in reverse. So, you know, the Empress Upright is abundance, growth, happiness, you know, powerful. Um, but in reverse, it's like none of that like almost like this person blocks your blessings okay that's what i'm feeling this situation this person blocks your blessings all the time and it's time for you to let them go and like we said earlier really focus on loving yourself you got the queen of cups here twice okay <clears throat> it's time for you to nurture yourself i know i should have gotten some hot water i thought that's not just that's my daughter's water. So, all right, let's see what else we have for you. It says humor. I wasn't ready, but I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, and this person makes everything heavy. This person makes everything so much heavier for you. God, what do we have for the collective, please? What advice? Oh my gosh, y'all. Why it came out again? So this was, like, I said I wasn't ready, but God said, but I was. This is what I need you to get through to them. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter things in life. This person does not, uh, is not aligned with that. They make things heavier. If, them, if someone is making your life heavier, if someone is bringing stress, disrupting your peace, they got to go. What else do we have, please? That's so funny. I wasn't ready, but... Guess it didn't matter. Change, okay? Change, let's see. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Change. Okay. A couple more oracle cards. I love me some oracle cards. God, what else do we have, please, for the collective? What else do we have for the collective? What, what messages and advice do we have for the collective, please? What messages and advice do we have for the collective, please? Longevity. Longevity. Okay, so I feel like this is someone. First of all, they've been around too long. Second of all, it's crazy. They've been around for a long time, but they can't offer you longevity. They just can't. What else do we have, please? Continuance. Continuance. Yeah. I feel like they're going to continue down this road if you let them vitality yeah they're not going to give up like i said they want you when they can't have you but when you're there it's like they don't appreciate you and they're not going to give up i feel like you're going to really have to establish some boundaries here you're going to have to really establish some boundaries uh, in order to let this person go because what the heck i'm sorry because you do love them you do care about them but what's Tina Turner's song? One of my lessons last year, what's love got to do with it? You could love them. You could love them all you want, but it may be someone you have to love from afar. Love them from over there. You know what I'm saying? They don't deserve you. What else do we have, please, for the collective? Nose is itching. What else do we have for the collective, please? One card fell out. Two cards. Three. What's that? Let's see this one. Oh, four cards fell out. So right, we have photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgic, make new memories. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out. Be lighthearted. Humor again. So I guess that's really important. Um. Like, y'all really need to know that. Like, I feel like when you get with this person, I feel like you're like a fun, bubbly, like, person. But when you get with them, it's like you get rigid. 
Like they take, they steal your joy. You know what I'm saying? Be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. We got change again. We got two more cards. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. I feel like this person strings you along. Continuance, longevity, vitality, like it could be a sexual thing. Like maybe the sex is really, really good and it's hard for you to walk away. Understandable, but still it's not good enough for you. Coffin, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change for the third time. Liberation, transition, okay? Last card I'll pull for And we'll bring this to a close. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay? It's time to disconnect. Let's pull one more. I'm going to start the bottom. Reconciliation is backwards. Okay? Let's see. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes more makes you more romantically attractive. And you know what I feel? I feel like this person knows they be on some trash, right? But you let them get that you you let them get away with it, right? So I've always been told like the more you let somebody disrespect you, the less they respect you. So you standing up for yourself, moving away from this connection, which was not making you happy, wasn't bringing you happiness, because you did that. It's like that turns them on, you know, the fact that you walked away. It's like a challenge, you know, for them now. They're like, oh, shoot, like they like it. They like it when you stand up for yourself. But this ain't about them. Stand up for yourself, for yourself, okay? You deserve better. Hopefully this hurts. See some. I mean, I'm sorry. Hopefully this helps. Oh, my gosh. Hopefully this helps.